Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Now, I already did a video about the Southfield Flats cabin, and I'll leave a link below in the description. When I first posted the video, and at that time, I didn't have certain information. And when I finished my second playthrough, I had already gathered the information, but I didn't remake the video. I just kind of posted it in a further video. So now that I'm on my second, or, or should I say third playthrough, I'm redoing the cabin and video a little better. So let's get on with the Southfield Flats cabin. The cabin is a short ride northwest outside of Rhodes, and when you approach it, there's no signs of anyone inhabiting the cabin. So it's a bit odd, and you have to explore several cabins, I think I believe five cabins, in order to get 100%. So this is one where you might want to take a look. I switched to first person view, and when you walk up to the cabin, you notice blood, a trail of blood. And if you follow the trail of blood, you find this dead woman with obviously a revolver she used to commit suicide and a knife. So I'm trying to pick up, I don't want to pick up the cattleman revolver, I don't want to. Uh, I want to find a letter on her, and I kind of fumble around a bit with this. I finally just approached the woman from a different side, and I loot her, and I find the letter. The letter is letter to Annette from Claude. And you read the letter, it is obviously Claude had had an affair with Annette, and he was married to Harriet, and he didn't want to continue with the relationship, so he kind of broke it off with her, and she, Annette, didn't like it, and he... Claude obviously cares about his wife, and so he basically ended the relationship. So now we got to go take a look in the cabin. Arthur enters the cabin and comes upon this grisly scene. Obviously, there was some struggle. Um, in the end, I think probably Annette or Annette, I'm taking bread rolls. They don't eat them. Let's face it. They really don't eat them. Well, that's Harriet, and she was obviously stabbed and aggressively attacked. And I'm guessing Claude came upon the murder, and Annette then killed Claude, and in her grief, went out back and took her life. So this is a murder-suicide. And since these people don't need anything at this point, Arthur's just going to take them the money, the food, whatever he needs. Because, well, they don't need it after all. And it's much easier to search a cabin in first-person view. You get things a little more efficient. And, again, that's all you do. 
And one of the things is if you need a certain, um, let's say, thing to complete a trinket or a talisman, like a certain like golden earring or necklace, there's a jewelry box here. And if you do your save properly, if you don't get what you need, you just come back, pick this up, and you will get what you need. It's just reload, come back, etc. And that's what I talked about in my previous video. Yeah, like I said, so Arthur's just going to loot this cabin and we're going to move on in life. Okay, now that the cabin is looted, and I'll show you on the map where it is, right here, Southfield Flats. It's next to Maddock Pond, which is actually a really great place to hunt um, songbirds and stuff. If you ever need a great place to hunt songbirds, you just kind of come with a varmint rifle and a scope, and you usually can pick off a few different songbirds. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button, feel free to leave comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week and you don't want to miss out. You want to stay informed. I also post specials and sometimes surprise videos and shorts. Again, you want to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.